Welcome back to round two of uh, the Dice Dojo tournament. And uh, this round, I am actually going to go ahead and fight an ogre army. Now, uh, some of the pictures got, kind of got um, spread out towards the end of this video just because the fight went on forever. Um, so uh, you, there's going to be a couple pictures missing towards the end of the video. But overall, let's go over his army list and see what he has. Um, over here, he has. Uh, we had a proxy a lot of his models just because uh, he wasn't. He didn't necessarily have all the models that he wanted uh, made, but we kind of talked him into just doing the tournament anyways, just for the fun of it. So uh, up in the left corner there, those guys in the red armor, those are actually, uh, I believe he put them as lead belchers, or the guys in the far back are the lead belchers. And then he has uh, in the front, the one that's unprimed is uh, a butcher. And um, and then, uh, yeah, let's see what else he had in that unit. The guy that's alone behind the tiger is actually going to be his tyrant and then the other black model in the back ranks over there that's another butcher um, and then he had 30 nobblers um, my um, spirit chucka makes a cameo there and that's actually going to be a scrap launcher and then over on this side he has two mourn fangs a hunter with uh, two saber tusks and a giant uh, my army list uh, you could see the first video of the tournament to see what I have specifically but you'll see it very soon and uh, let's go into round one right off the bat. Round one, he actually moved up everybody on the right flank. And on the right flank over there, I actually just have my Arachnorok spider. So he's just kind of worried about that thing coming up. That's why he kind of overloaded that side. He wanted his giant and his Mornfangs to kind of just destroy my spider. Um, so he's moving everybody up. Over here, he moves up all the 30 uh, Nobblers with their, uh, what is that called? The Trappers. He goes ahead and he rolls uh, eight power dice or nine power dice, sorry, for uh, magic phase. And he goes ahead and throws Curse of Anaher on my Night Goblins and on this side. It's a hex spell. Um, I forgot what it does specifically. I mean, I could try to read it right here, but text is kind of small. But uh, the other spell he get, tries to get off there, uh, I block it. I have a level four Savage Orc Shaman against his level two, so I just stop him. Um, over here, this is actually his Scrap Launcher. His Scrap Launcher goes ahead and rolls. To hit this unit, and sure enough, he got a direct hit uh, with some lookout sirs. Save Gorbad, but I lost two guys, which I mean that's kind of really odd. I mean, if you see the scrap launcher, it just has like like a very low damage, but okay. Um, over here on my turn, these this is my uh, Goblin Wolf Rider. He actually uh, was on the same side flank, um, and then after his vanguard and his march, he just flew behind the units because he's going straight for that scrap launcher after it just blew up a couple of my guys, um, and just to kind of scare what his guys around over here. Um, basically, this is my side of the board. Everybody kind of moved up. Uh, Gorbad's just trying to move around the trees. Um, I have the Night Goblin behind Gorbad on the right there. He actually has Lore of Undeath, and then you can see my Ragnarok Spider. He actually stood back around because I know his guys are coming for him, gunning for him. Uh, Savage Orcs moved up a little bit, and then I have my two Doom Divers and my more uh, uh, Night Goblins with short bows. Magic Phase, I got nine Power Dice, and I'm going to go ahead and try to do the Foot of Gork, and of course he uh, stops it. Uh, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try to do... Um, grave call which is call of some skeletons and I do it right to the 12 maximum 12 inches um, right there by the house and uh, just gonna use it to kind of block up any kind of um, guys that he has coming that way towards my Arachnorok um, and then go ahead and using my doom divers I'm gonna shoot at those worn fangs with their high armor and the first one misfires and the misfire is can't shoot for one turn uh, the second one just shoots wildly off into the middle of uh, that hill over there and that was just basically it there's nobody in close combat so turn one was kind of just move up scare some people and that was about it let's go into uh or ogres turn two so for ogres uh first thing he's worried about is actually that guy who's coming in so he turns around this saber tooth here to try to take out my hero wolf rider and then he also turns around this saber tooth on this side over here uh again to pin him in on both sides more or less uh he moves everybody up, no charges yet. He tries to get the gorgers up, but the gorgers do decide to uh, fail their roll to come out, and they do absolutely nothing. Uh, he gets eight power dice, and then uh, he got irresistible force onto. I forgot what spell it was specifically. Uh, oh, it's a buff spell right there to get the nobbler scrap launcher a higher toughness. Um, 
but he's gonna go ahead and shoot uh, go into shooting phase next um, he goes and does well first of all his miscast he got uh, the one that gives a wound to everybody on the same side and loses power dice so that was his only spell he got off he tries to shoot the scrap launcher at my wolf rider excuse me and uh, it shoots wildly off and uh, that's gonna start off orcs and goblins turn two uh, first thing I do is I move up the Night Goblins just in range to release some fanatics onto some ogres. And then uh, I move the Ragnarok over the building, keep them closer to Gorbat and make all those guys kind of just waste their movement. And then all of a sudden I realize I didn't do animosity tests. So I did, and Gorbat fails animosity. Oh uh, man, so he gets the 6, which is the force charge, free move and a force charge. And he's going to go ahead and just charge us the closest unit, which is unfortunately some nobblers with traps. So he runs right into them, and we lose one boar boy just from the trap alone. Um, over here, this uh, this guy, he's just kind of sneaking by. He's hiding behind the building. And uh, that was about it for movement. Uh, we're going to go into magic phase. I got eight power dice. And then uh, on the eight power dice, I'm going to go ahead and use a couple on another grave call, which he lets through. And I throw up more skeletons right in the middle. And then over here, I'm going to go ahead and do the foot of Gorkin. Guess what? He couldn't stop it. And uh, I get it off, drifts a little bit, and uh, it only kills one guy, but does an extra two wounds on another guy, another ogre here. Um, the fanatics fell short, by the way. Uh, over here, going to do another foot on a four, five, or six. Happens again. Do it, and it drifts off. Or one goes for a direct hit, kill off a couple more ogres, and then I go ahead and do it again onto the saber tusk get him he only takes one wound though um, out of the multiple d6 or d3 wounds go ahead and try to do it again and uh, try to hit the scrap, scrap launcher and uh, it fails and then I roll it for five or six again and I rolled a one and he tries to stomp on my Arachnarok <laughs> and uh, I believe he actually uh, it drifts off and hits the building instead which thank God uh, I got an irresistible force on that so I take the large template, which I believe I rolled a four on that. Everybody under the large template takes a strength four hit, so I t or a strength ten hit. I'm sorry. So I failed my lookout, sir, on my champion. The champion's dead in the front, and I lost about like five or six more um, savage orcs, which kind of sucks. Uh, so uh, we're gonna go to shooting phase next. I got my guys on top of the spider, the howda crew. They're gonna go ahead and try to shoot at the giant. And they actually put a one wound onto the giant. And I believe that would be it. Oh, I got the Doom Divers. I'm sorry. Doom Divers are aiming for the Morn Fangs again. Only one Doom Diver could see them, though. The other ones are just slightly behind the building. And uh, this one drifts off, does nothing. And the other one, I believe, I shot somewhere. And he also did nothing, which my, my Doom Divers are not into um, their accuracy right now. They need to check themselves. So Gorbad kills off about like a good four. Uh, nobblers. Nobblers didn't even scratch me back. Then my boar boys kill off another three or four nobblers, causing them to panic. And of course, they're going to flee. And then Gorbat's going to chase, and he, he kills off that whole unit of 30 nobblers with their damn traps. Um, so he overruns, and he overruns right into that nobbler scrap launcher. And uh, that's going to be another combat for another day. Let's go into Ogre's turn three now. So first thing he does is going to go ahead and charge into the side flank with the uh, saber tusk and then over here he's going to go ahead and charge uh, his giant into the uh, skeletons. Giant connects, saber tusk connects and uh, the giant's going to make short work of these skeletons. I can already see it. <laughs> um, over here he moves his ogres up just a little bit because uh, he, he's going to hope, hoping that uh, that guy just kind of kind of crumbles there. Over here uh, he gets 11 power dice and he gets does the one spell that makes the toughness heavier on the nobbler scrap launcher hoping that it holds out just for a turn and then uh, he starts moving up his iron guts and he also moves up his scrap on or his lead belchers um, but uh, he can't move up this unit because this one fanatic is kind of just like teasing him making sure that he doesn't move up uh, past it and uh, he did he was too worried about taking that hit uh, we're gonna go into I believe close combat close combat Gorbat just destroys the nobbler uh, the saber tusk doesn't uh, doesn't wound anybody, unfortunately. Over here, the giant picks up one guy and uh, he goes ahead and like tosses him or something like that, and then he picks up another. 
Now, even though I have orcs and goblins, I don't play the giant that often. He uh, picked up one guy, threw him into these goblins over here. And I think he was supposed to stop his move here, but I'm not entirely sure. But we, he went ahead and swung with the club, killed off a couple more guys. And uh, even though he killed off about five of my guys, my guys wounded him four times. And then he did his thunder stomp, and his thunder stomp was like five, and it was exactly the right amount. <laughs> he just crushed them all. So, uh, yeah, that giant just destroyed all those skeletons, but the skeletons did put some damage in, which is good because they were a free unit. Um, over here we have um, the fight between the Ragnarok and the Hunter and uh, <laughs> the Mornfangs. Everybody charged in onto the Ragnarok over here. Um, so, the Ragnarok. I went for the dog, no, I actually I went for the hunter to kill him because I knew he had a, some move that kills large targets easier, um, and plus it was a faster initiative. So I went ahead and I put two wounds on him. I think the Howda crew killed the Saber Tusk, and then um, the Mornfangs did the most damage to the Arachnorok. They put on five wounds onto that Arachnorok. Uh, those Mornfangs are beastly they have so many attacks between the both of them uh man it was really hurt i actually lost the combat i believe um because he got the charge and he got five wounds off i only got about like three or four wounds off so um but uh they stuck because uh rock and rock is stubborn um over here uh it is i believe my turn right now orcs and goblins turn three I remember we were actually getting food, that's why the pictures get a little bit more uh, sporadic because I was eating and playing at the same time, but anyways. Uh, Night Goblins fail their, uh, their animosity and they pick a fight with the Savage Orcs that are right there. Savage Orcs fight back, they killed one Savage Orc, Savage Orcs killed four Night Goblins and both of them are stuck and now I can't even cast any spells with my Shaman. Uh, go ahead and charge in with my uh, skeleton crew over here and... Um, the fanatics decided to go the wrong way and this guy fell into the tree and the other two guys actually died I believe I think all three of my fanatics died that turn um, over here Gorbad and the boys charged in and so did my night goblin he ninja or not night goblin my wolf rider he ninja charged into the side from behind the, the house he was hiding from um, magic phase I got eight that eight power dice but guess what my uh, one got both my wizards were in animosity so it didn't matter uh, we're going to go to shooting. I have both Doom Divers aiming for that giant, hopefully killing him off before he gets to my Arachnorok. And uh, they don't. <laughs> they don't kill him. One gets a direct hit. Oh, actually, um, no. Yeah, I still think that it... One flew off, one got a direct hit, and the one that got a direct hit, let's see if we wounded it enough. I don't believe he did. Um, so the giant might still be alive. Like I said, the pitchers get a little bit more sporadic over here. I'm going to have uh, 20 shots onto the ogres over here. So I'm going to go ahead and take 20 shots at these guys and uh, I need like I think 5s or 6s to hit the lead belchers and I got 4 hits but out of the 4 hits not a single wound so nothing happened there and then uh, Gorbad's going to go ahead and take he, he made way took some swings at the tyrant and uh, I did I believe like 3 or 4 wounds onto the tyrant he had like ward saves and stuff like that but I still got 4 wounds off I believe he had 5 to, to live. His tyrant actually kills my wolf rider off before my wolf rider got his great weapon and finished off the job. So that was a pretty smart move by uh, my opponent there. Over here, the Ragnarok finishes off the hunter, but the Mornfangs finally take out my Ragnarok. But -da -da -da. that was a, that was the first time I've seen him die like that. Um, so uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, we're gonna go to turn four. So uh, this is his first time fighting orcs and goblins, so he goes ahead and he charges his Mornfangs right into my night goblins, not knowing they have fanatics, and uh, there they go, release the fanatics, and this was a, a Hail Mary here, I got 8 inches to get across, and I got all 3 of them across, and not only did I get all 3 across, they killed those Mornfangs, they destroyed that armor, they just annihilated them, I'm like holy shit, that was pretty impressive, that was pretty good. Um, not only that, I was going to stand and shoot anyways. <laughs> Over here, I'm surprised those uh, skeletons are actually still alive. Um, Alright, so he didn't do a magic phase because he realized his magic sucks. So over here, he goes straight into the uh, ranged. His lead belcher shoot at my night goblins, and they kill off three night goblins. Um, and then over here in this giant combat, he ends up killing off 
all my board boys except for the champion and Gorbad. And Gorbad ended up killing his tyrant and a couple more ogres, but not enough to do a substantial amount of damage. I end up running in this combat. Um, and then over here on this one, uh, the skeletons are actually going to, uh, they, they didn't do anything. They just basically roadblocked these guys for a turn. And, uh, they killed off nine with crumbles. They killed off nine skeletons and I didn't even put a wound on. Over here, uh, it's orcs and goblins turn four. I failed animosity and I, not squabbled, I actually got a force charge because the giant was in range. Um, over here, the fanatics all killed each other in a giant clusterfuck. And over here, these two fanatics killed each other in a giant clusterfuck. Um, I forgot these two were even alive, to be honest. Um, over here, I wheeled over the night goblins with the short bows just to see what the forest was, and it was a blood forest. So basically, um, the, I, you know, to be honest, we even forgot to do the effect of this because the game was going on so long. Uh, it just, it was getting to the point where we we're just kind of skipping things. Um, over here we have the savages and they move into the forest anyways because they need to back up Gorbad and the boys. Gorbad ends up rallying um, a little late though. And then uh, we got 11 power dice. Gonna go ahead and throw it on the foot onto this unit over here with the butcher. And it fails and f just kind of f goes off to nowhere. Um, got the doom divers. They're both shooting in onto the that unit over there. And they both fail me again. They don't even do any damage. Um, and then I'm gonna have the night goblin shoot at the lead belt just again and didn't even really scratch them. Over here, these guys, they actually charged into the side of the giant, and guess what? The giant kills, I believe, like one or two of them, but the, they killed the giant, <laughs> and he fell over. Uh, he fell over that way, so he didn't even crush some goblins on his way down, which is pretty funny. Uh, we're going to go over here. I believe this is Ogre's turn five now, and um, he's going to go ahead and charge. He fails a charge onto my night goblins. Um, Actually, I'm sorry, he connects. He barely clipped them, and then they just wheel over. Um, and then his Gorger finally comes on the board, <laughs> which, whatever. Uh, his Saber Tusk charges into the side of Gorbad. Both the Saber Tusks are in fighting with Gorbad. And uh, he does a spell to make the toughness of this unit uh, stronger again. Um, and they just kill off all my Night Goblins. They didn't really have a chance, my Night Goblins. Gorbad kills off the Saber Tusk on that side. And then uh, this. And then my champion killed this other saber tusk off, and uh, pretty much right there, that was the end of his turn five. I didn't even go for my turn five. I was pretty much tired at this time. We this is a long game, and uh, this is the end of the, the game. You can see right here. This is how it looks. I have a unit of savages left. I still have Gorbad left. He still has a, a couple of units uh, going on, um, but uh, we actually called it here. We added up the points, and guess what? It was a draw. <laughs> Oh, all, all that time, all that time we fought in this game for a draw. Uh, I actually think he could have—he could have possibly took me though, because he has way too many ogres. The ogres are tough. They have a high toughness and too many wounds, and you know the, the fact that they get the stomps and everything—that that, they, they get pretty hard on to kill. But overall, I mean, I could have probably doom divered his iron guts and probably that unit over there. Um, if the Doom Driver decided to actually start shooting, Gorbad probably could have took out, um, you know, a good three or four of them before they killed him. Um, but I think overall he might have actually won if we would have continued on. But um, it was a fun game. I mean, you know, he was learning a lot, and that's why the game took way too long um, because he's a new player as well. But, uh, you know, uh, so far I'm at one win, one draw in the tournament. And um, on to the last round, and it's really, really, really late. But. Uh, it's a it's a fun game. I love this game. It's it's a it's such a fun game to just strategize and you know see what armies do and you know sometimes the dice don't work with you. Sometimes the dice do. So, uh, anyways, if you guys like this video, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button to uh, to watch other videos just like this. And I'll be putting up more videos very soon. I got one more round. Um, the last round, I believe the pictures were very sporadic and very low count just because again it was really late at night but um it's the last round of the tournament that i'll be putting up very soon and uh, i'll also be putting up a battle royale that we had with uh my dad my nephew and my brother at christmas or at easter i'm sorry not christmas why did i say christmas but at easter <laughs> and uh you guys will see that very soon anyways uh take care guys and i'll see you in the next video peace